Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I went and bought some products from Asian makeup brands and they are very good in a way that they don't cost much but they have pretty good quality. So today we are going to try and create a look using only those products and before we start I'm going to prepare my skin first. I'm going to use this uh, toner that came as a little gift from Laneige when I purchased their uh, cushion. So this is a toner with hyaluronic acid, which is really good for your skin. I'm just going to quickly remove the cream and also maybe some dirt, even though I haven't gone out today yet. After the toner, I'm going to try this mask from Cathy Doll. It has purple cabbage and some other nice ingredients, but it also has alcohol, which is a debated ingredient for makeup products. So it says that it, it's rich in antioxidants and it will give you a more youthful, glowing and luminous complexion. So it's quite promising. I'm going to apply it and keep it for around 30 minutes. Urgh. For my face, it's a bit too small. It's <laughs> quite long, but not very wide. I'm going to keep it for 30 minutes and come back to you. I couldn't keep the mask for 30 minutes. That's quite a long time. I mean, if you have like a very nice chill day, why not? But to be honest, when you have got things to do, 30 minutes is so much. We are going to start our makeup today and the first product that I'm going to use is this one. So Baby Bright is a Thai brand. This is BB cream and it also comes with a concealer. Oh, it smells like watermelon. I mean it has watermelon extracts in it but why does it have to smell so much? Like Am I super white now? The good thing about it that it has SPF 45 so it will protect your skin from the sun. Let's then try the concealer right away. I don't know if you can see but so this is the BB cream. This is the concealer. I, I expected it to be lighter <laughs> but the concealer looks darker. looks more yellow <laughs> i don't want to put too much because i don't want to go with like too heavy makeup look today let's leave it at that we are going to apply strawberry milk cathedral palette so for some reason when i went to this shop called turtle that has big range of makeup products i thought that many of the brands there were from Korea or Japan maybe because many of the snacks that they sell they are Japanese snacks uh, but most of the makeup brands they have there are from Thailand so this one is a Thai brand as well just like a baby bright so Kathy doll I'm going into this with an open mind but uh, the eyeshadows that I usually use, they don't have such creamy texture. Okay, it looks pretty good. Like such a nice pinky color, like so delicate. It looks so nice on the lid as well. Kind of makes it even smoother, to be honest. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna use a different brush and apply... Uh, the middle one. Let's see how different it's gonna make because they they are very oh no actually you know what it's a good idea go for it uh, apply it to the middle of your lid it makes the lid a little bit brighter in the middle but it's not too different from the rest of the color so it just looks very natural very natural but more interesting for sure. Mm. 
is it gonna become my favorite daily palette? My lids look so good, really good. The last thing we have to do is to is to apply some glitter but this glitter it's very delicate it's not very shiny i'm gonna put it in the corner of my eye with the lower lid what we can do is to do it similar to angelic korean look maybe for that we will need so the brushes this just like uh, the one that you would use for the eyeliner and this is a palette from Lamel it was a limited edition they don't sell these anymore it's Medusa to be honest um, I really like the colors over here like the story is so fun and interesting but I don't use it that much so what I'm thinking is to go with metamorphosis which is this so this is like a Korean style to make this fold kind of more visible it's like you you always have smiley eyes uh, but yeah it doesn't have to be too overwhelming because <laughs> in real life it looks pretty weird on camera maybe it looks better or not I don't know like how graphic this fold should be though all right and the last thing we have to do is to apply more glitter on the lower lid let's come back to Kathy doll and use this one even though it's not very glittery but it might do the job if not we use something else all right let's uh, go with the blush we are going to use this one actually uh, this one is also eyeshadow yes it's jelly jelly eyeshadow and blusher from brow it uh, you can see that they are quite different this one is more orange this one is pinkier but it doesn't look bad Now I just want to put it everywhere. No, I just want to blend it out. So there are no patches. We are going to use mascara. This one is from... Where is it from though? Hmm. It says BQ Cover Mascara. But I don't remember what brand it was. Okay, anyways. Um, in the last video you can find I showed the package. If you like the way it looks. I'm not going to curl my lashes today. This mascara promises you to curl. I think it doesn't dry fast. <sighs> Alright, let's leave it at that. So now I'm going to go into eyebrows. It's a bit warm for me, but I like the overall look of my eyebrows uh, I like this one a little bit better because for some reason it's less graphic they're almost the same so that's already a victory so this one is eyebrow waterproof pencil from Mil or Mille the brand is from South Korea mocha brown number three the lips what I'm thinking to do is use these two products so shine me up this one it's a tint uh, last time when I tried it I got a little bit inside my mouth and the taste is awful but it's more of a natural tint it doesn't stain your lip in a bad way because with the tint sometimes what you get is like real stain the one that you can't really fix anymore and it doesn't look natural this comes in the shade nude pink number three and this one is the product that I really liked because it's just like such um, on-the-go lipstick. You can apply it any time during the day. Of course, it wouldn't stay on your lips for too long. But it's more of a like lipstick slash balm because 
it has nice ingredients in it it feels very nourishing and moisturizing and the uh, the color number four maybe peach is very natural the last thing this one when i was doing my uh, first impressions of this product this product didn't really amaze me i was kind of even disappointed with it because it's a highlighter but it has quite base see it barely shines when you swatch it like this it looks like chalk but then i applied it all over my face and it looked really nice it doesn't look very natural but it adds an interesting detail i have enough glitter in my inner eye i have a lot of glitter under my eyes so i'm not gonna touch that that fake lead that i created with brown eyeshadow it still stays and i like how it looks i like the blusher on my forehead because it makes the look more united my pores don't look too big to be honest that was my main concern with this product because they're cheap so why would you expect magic right um, but even like looking super up close I like the way I look. Here's the look uh, I created today using new products. So I didn't have much time with them, but to be honest, they were very easy to apply. Um, so I think I might purchase something else from Cathy Doll, Oddbo, Baby Bright. So especially Cathy Doll and Oddbo, if you have any recommendations, if you have any of the products from these brands that you really like, please leave your comment and I will give it a try because so far what I see, I really like. I'm going to go and do the groceries because <laughs> that's what I have to do today. So this look is not for a date but it can be or just for a daily look it's just very delicate romantic and cute so let me know what you think please like this video and subscribe and i'll see you next time goodbye